Hi, I got Dave Max. Dave Max is back at the Mecca, and uh, this is a part two of I Force uh, training shoot today with Chris Mentano. Chris, welcome to the Mecca, man. It's your first time, also. Yeah, first time, man. This place is absolutely incredible. The energy in here is absolutely amazing. So. <laughs> you feel strong today, man? I do. I'm training we, legs. We got legs today. We got legs. So we gotta move some good. weight. Yeah. All right. All right. Good to have you, Chris. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks. So Chris, do you always start with squat when you train or? Sometimes I'll do leg extensions first to warm up if it's kind of cold out. So It's not cold here. No. <laughs> it's definitely not cold here, so. Yeah. I did about uh, five sets before uh, the set with 585. And I usually just do anywhere from 10 to 15 reps each set. Nice. And just pyramid up gotcha. until I get to the, the max weight. So sometimes I'll go heavier than what I just did, but. Usually as far as like muscle growth, I think. Very solid. I have any fast money. So. Nice. I kind of do it two different ways. So sometimes I'll put my feet higher and wide at the top and I'll really load the machine up with weight. And then I'll hit more like my glutes and hamstrings a little bit with the stretch at the bottom of here. I'm actually putting my feet lower down the platform and my feet narrow together. So this acts more like kind of like a front squat, which is kind of bring out the sweep in the quads on the outside. So this is a variation. Chris is pumped. He just ran into uh, Danny Hester and uh, Dex Dexter Jackson. <laughs> Dream me. <laughs>
an exercise I don't normally do, but all the racks are taken, so sometimes you just gotta. So we improvise. You gotta, you gotta pull a MacGyver. And, uh, <laughs> Especially at Gold's Venice. Yeah. All right, guys, we just wrapped up a uh, killer leg workout with Big Chris over here. Chris, good to have you in the Mecca, man. It was great to be here. That was intense, that leg workout. <laughs> Six yeah. plates to start with, boom. I don't want to disappoint, but that's like, that's really how I like to train. So, a you know, big thing with me is I like to kind of do most of my workouts pretty much for all body parts in a certain fashion. And uh, it's a style that I've kind of called uh, load and pump. Um, that's kind of the best way I can describe it, where usually my first two exercises are really heavy and explosive. I almost train more like a, like a power lifter to really get a lot of those fast twitch, you know, explosive dense muscle fibers. Because mm -hmm. I think for a physique that gives you a really good density and thickness, and then the rest of my exercises that I like to do more like slower and controlled where I really get a good scratch good stretch yeah really good squeeze I try to really stretch the muscle fascia really pump it up so if you notice when I was doing a lot of the exercise towards the end like leg extensions I was holding the squeeze the yeah. contraction at the top uh, a little bit slower on the negative of the portion even with hamstring curls I was holding that squeeze so that's really gonna kind of give you a lot of blood volume um, really give you good muscle fullness you know, really full and round look. And I think doing that, um, you know, I used to weigh 120 pounds and wow. I'm right about, I'm kind of deep off season right now. But You I'm double about, that weight right now though, right? Yeah, yeah about wow. two, 240 right now at 5'6". So, wow. um, you know, it's definitely worked for me over the years. And uh, a lot of people, I always say, like, just find what works good for your body. And this just seems to work yeah. really well for me. Talk to me about uh, competition. So last time you competed was in 2015, right? Yeah, it was like the very, very end of 2000, uh, 2014. Um, every time I've competed, I won my first show I ever did was a 2009 uh, PC Northern Cup. And uh, I actually won the light heavyweight class. And I was about 180-something pounds. And then... Couple second place finishes and whatnot. Uh, last time I competed, I had a hard time sucking down the light heavyweight and ended up actually getting sick. And uh, day of the show, I was a little watery, uh, like 204, so I ended up getting my uh, butt handed to me in the heavyweight class. But mm. I'm really working on, I stayed relatively lean most of this off season. I stayed around like the 225, okay. uh, 230 mark. And then towards the end of the season, I really started eating a lot more and really started pushing the calories and training a little bit heavier. So. Uh, I hit about two, a little over 250 last couple of weeks. Right now I'm about two, 240. So next time I compete, I really want to be kind of in the middle weight, uh, like range of a heavyweight class, right around like, so like two, two, ten, two, two, ten, ten, two, two fifteen. Yeah. 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 What is yeah. the next show for you? Have you decided yet? I'm gonna start a uh, contest prep in January. So okay. I was thinking about doing the. Um, J. Color Classic in Boston. Oh, uh, it's a good one, yeah. Which is a great show. I mean, yeah. I'm like, you know, I live. Steve Weinberger, there. yeah, of course. Yeah, it's pretty much, uh, you know, where I live. I live in a little, uh, little north of Boston. Nice. It's a great show. And then uh, I'm thinking about doing maybe like the NPC Metropolitan before and maybe Atlantic States, which is in New York City. Uh, nice. Usually that's in June or early July, so. Yeah. Probably do a couple of shows. I want to re qualify for nationals and then eventually take a shot at nationals. Yeah. Talk to me about iForce. You've been with them for three years, you said? Yeah, I've been with iForce about right about three years. Um, the whole the whole uh, group of guys and everyone that runs iForce, uh, they, treat me, they treat me a lot like family. So anything I've ever needed, they've always helped me out with. Yeah. Um, you know, they brought you here today, which is great. They brought me here today to, 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 to film. And, you know, I, I've, I've taken the supplements well before I was even with them. So, 
you know, I, I, I really like the products that they make and I, I stand behind them. Yeah. And, uh, like I said, they treat me really, really like family. I love working with them and, and being part of the team. And then, you know, um, like my fellow teammate, Brooke, she's awesome. So, yeah. uh, and, you know, everyone, we're like a family. And, you know, even though I don't see some of the other athletes as much, we still text and talk and stay in touch. So That's it's awesome, really, man. really good team to be a part of. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad you came today, man. It's great, it's great to meet you. Yeah. And then we're not done. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go shoot on the beach after this. Yep. Yeah. And, Brooke then, uh, and I are gonna train shoulders together at Muscle Beach, which I think is also a first for both. And in between that, you're gonna go eat Firehouse. Yeah. You know, everyone <laughs> eats there. Um, I gotta go there and fuel up for the for the workout. This yeah, you better, man. Um, but yeah, no. Yeah, whole 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 thing here. This place is beautiful. So. So glad yeah. you guys you guys oh, came. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so much, Chris. Nice <laughs> to meet you, man.